It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brasserie de Achouf and it's a bottle of the Cherry Chouf coming in at 8% ABV in a 330 milliliter bottle. There's the bottle cap. I'm really looking forward to this one. This is a classic style beer. I've had a few of the other Le Chouf beers. Very tasty. I think I've even had their Christmas Chouf uh, some time ago. But I've always wanted to try this because I'm a big fan of Creek style beers. When I went to Belgium, I spent a lot of the time when they offer you a beer. Oh, I'll have a Creek. Absolutely love a Creek. So I imagine this is really good. Let's get it out into a glass. See what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Classic Belgian style dumpy bottle. Look at the colour. Oh, oh, look at the colour on this. See if there's any sediment in there to throw in. Oh yeah, that looks really good. Uh, we got a one finger pinky type, pinky coloured head. Good levels of slow moving carbonation. A nice kind of red cherry hue to this beer let's get that all-important aroma oh, yes 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 this smells wonderful absolutely wonderful i tell you what it smells like a little bit can you remember if you live in the uk can you remember the cherry halls, the cough sweets, halls, cough sweets, well the cherry ones, they smell a little bit like that kind of cherry. From a cherry halls cough sweet, it smells fantastic, let's dive in, cheers everybody. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's delightful. That is absolutely delightful. Stone the crows. Stone the crows. Oh. Started off, I held the beer in my mouth for just a few seconds just to pick up some of the flavours. But while I was holding the beer in my mouth, I could just feel it kind of the carbonation hissing and fizzing on my cheeks, on the inside of my cheeks and at the top of my mouth and on my tongue. And it just then exploded into that beautiful kind of cherry-like ale beer hybrid flavour where you're picking up lots of cherry but you definitely get the backbone of a beer in there. Mouthfeel. Oh, I'm breathing. I'm breathing back like a, like a candy cherry flavour. Ah, that's lovely. Stone the crows. Stone the crows. You can feel that carbonation pushing the beer on the inside of the mouth. The mouthfeel's got a, a lovely medium mouthfeel to it. It's 8% ABV, this beer, so... Not that you would ever know. Not that you would ever guess. If this was given to you in a glass, like this, just handed to you like this, as they would in Belgium. There you go, sunshine. Have that. Or madam. Madam, sunshine. You know, have that. You would, you, you would, you know, you didn't know the ABV. You you just picked the beer and you were sitting in this beautiful Belgian cafe, maybe in Brussels or Bruges. And I think the only inclination you would get from it being 8% ABV is the mouthfeel. It's a big, thick, creamy-like mouthfeel on it. <clears throat> Wonderful stuff. And have a look as you, you wash that beer around in the glass. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic.
We just just stand here. I could just stand here reveling in 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 this beer's glory. Uh, do you know how they make these beers? Um, by the way, so um, it's a maturation process. So they they leave the beer in vats full of cherries, and it kind of it soaks in for a long time. I mean, off the top of my head, I was in Belgium about three or four years ago, and tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong, but the maturation process where the, where, the, where the fruit soaks into the beer can be anything from weeks or months. Can't quite remember that time scale because I was in Belgium three or four years ago, but I, I, I was shocked to, to when they told me that, oh yeah, it sits with cherries for, for such a long time. Nice and sweet. Not really a sour beer. There's a touch of kind of a sprinkling, I suppose, of, of, of a sour beer in there. But it's more to do with that kind of sharp cherry flavour that, that really is full on in this beer. But it's it's not overdone. It's not like where you're thinking, oh, there's, there's, there's too much of this. Like, you know, like I sometimes talk about adjuncts in beer. When I talk about I'm not a fan of adjuncts in beer. Well, this is a really, really kind of... It's an exception because I love this style of beer. I love this style of beer. And, and it's because they've been doing it for such a long time that they've been able to perform the art of this. They've been able to work on this for such a long time and, and, and just get it right. Some of these Belgian breweries have been, have been around for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. Oh, Pardon me. Brasserie Dear Shoof, is there any English on here? Uh, ingredients, um, water, barley malt, invert sugar solution, 12% sour cherry, hops, black carrot concentrate, uh, aroma, sweetness, Ooh. and glycosides. Oh, okay, okay, so it's not just the cherries, there's this. That's giving me all that fl all that kind of goings on. There's a little bit of beetroot in there to get the colour. There's a little bit of kind of what did I just call it? Glucomates or some some things in there. Uh, a little bit of sweetness as well. So it it's not a a um, maybe maybe not you know quite an authentic Belgian beer as as one thought it was, but. Still really good it's still really good thanks very much to beers of europe.co.uk who sent us this beer um been a while getting to this one um just just been so busy with it with everything else on the channel but i finally got round to it um it's a type of beer that you can have it's eight percent abv it's a cherry beer um i've had it about three months to be honest and um it's absolutely fine in bottle at an eight percent beer with, with with cherries it's been in a cool place so um Thank you very much to our channel sponsors, beersofeurope.co.uk. Link in the description box of this video for sending us the beer. No money changes hands with this sponsorship. It's just a case of me giving these guys a shout out, Beers of Europe, and they sending us a few beers in the post. That's how it works. Um, but I'd like to rate this beer. I'd like to give it... Ooh, I'm, 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 I was about to give it an 8 out of 10, but I'm going to give it a 7. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Um... Because of the beetroot juice and because of um, the, the sweetness and stuff in there. It's a bit of a shame. A little bit of a shame. But 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.